Hi, I'm Stephen Hawkins and welcome to Fishing with Hawk. Today we're talking about barometric pressure and how it affects fishing and how to use it to plan our fishing trip. There are three major pressure categories. We have high pressure, low pressure, and normal and stable pressure. Normal barometric pressure at sea level is 29.92 inches of mercury. Any pressure reading higher is considered higher than normal. Anything lower is considered lower than normal. Now in terms of meteorology, low pressure that is significant is below 29.5 inches of mercury. And above 30.5 is considered significantly higher pressure. So that's a bunch of complicated information about barometric pressure, but what exactly is barometric pressure? Barometric pressure is the weight of the air all the way from the top of the atmosphere down to the earth. Now lots of things affect barometric pressure like altitude, temperature, humidity, or a combination of all of these things. And colder air is denser and weighs more. So like I said, these figures are from sea level and altitude affects what the normal barometric pressure is at your location. So how does barometric pressure affect fishing? So fish have swim bladders, and these are pockets of air in their bellies that they use to control their buoyancy and allow them to stay at a certain depth in the water. Now especially in shallow water, fish can feel pressure changes in that pocket of air and it affects their mood. Okay, so there are three major categories, high pressure, low pressure, and normal pressure. But there are also some significant combinations in between that we should consider as we use barometric pressure as a factor of how and where to go fishing. The other categories are rising pressure, falling pressure, and slightly lower than normal pressure that may be stable. Let's break these down and see how they affect fish. Now when the pressure is low, the typical weather is usually rainy and stormy. The longer the pressure stays low, the fish will tend to become less and less active. As the strikes become far and fewer in between, I start fishing at deeper depths. Now at slightly lower pressure but holding constant, the fish will head away from the cover and seek shallower waters. Some fish will even become more aggressive. That's when I use shallower running lures and pull them at a moderately slow speed. The weather is usually cloudy at slightly lower pressure. Okay, so when the pressure is normal and stable, it's usually fair weather. The fishing is what I would call normal. Now fish are acting normal the way fish act. They've gotten a good night's sleep, they wake up, they're rested, and they're ready for their day, so to speak. This is a fun time to pull out all of your favorite lures and do some experimenting. Okay, so when the pressure is high, the skies are clear, the sun is out, fish head for cover, and they go to deeper water, and we have picnics. To find them, I go where the fish are. I go to the cover and I go to the deeper water. It's time to slow your lures down a little bit and use the little baits that are more attractive to fish. Okay, that covers the main barometric pressure points when the pressure is at certain levels. How about when the pressure is on the move? When the pressure is rising, the weather is clearing or improving because as we discussed earlier, all the lower pressures are associated with some level of cloudiness. Just like we do after a storm, the fish become slightly more active. They are headed out from their location toward cover and toward deeper water as discussed in the higher pressure. So fish near the cover, maybe right outside of it, and at intermediate depths. This is the time to use brighter lures and pull them at moderate speeds. Okay, that leaves us with the falling pressure. This is my favorite time to go fishing. For us on top of the water, the weather is going downhill. It's getting worse. Thunder, lightning, be careful. But when the fish, this is when they are most active. Speed up your lures. Fish at the surface, shallow running baits are good choices. Well, that's my take on how to fish in different barometric pressure situations. Something else to consider is that after long periods of bad fishing conditions, fish get hungry. And that slow period may be followed by a really awesome time of fishing. But the opposite is also true. Something important to realize is that this is only one factor of how the fish are feeding. Other things to consider are water temperature, light, water levels, clarity, pH level, the amount of wind and surface disturbances, and hundreds of other things, including the phases of the moon. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have liked this video, please click on that like button right there 
and follow me on Twitter at Fishing with Hawk. So now let's check the weather, get your pole, get your lucky hat, and let's go fishing with Hawk.